Rajiv Demela is head of Asian Fixed Income at Schroders, and he's with us there in Singapore. Rajiv, thank you very much indeed uh, for coming on the program. Now, what are you making of all this, all these events on Capitol Hill? Well, obviously, uh, it's a disappointment for markets to see no agreement between, uh, between both parties in Washington. Um, what that means uh, is that uh, we probably won't have an extension of the Bush tax cuts into next year because the actual agreement which didn't pass through will only have an impact uh, in 2013. So the big, the big impact is probably you know, a reduction in, um, in, the G in the fiscal boost uh, next year, which will mean probably slower growth than expected uh, in the U.S. in Q1. And I think that's, that's a bit of the worry, uh, which obviously will have an impact on uh, you know, a recovery in the states and on, on U.S. interest rates. Uh, also have an impact on, uh, well, debts as well, and push those up uh, slowly too here, making, of course, a, a larger debt amount to be financed. So, Rajiv, the thing is, you know, how do bond investors, how do bond markets actually look at all this news? Well, actually, the fact that they didn't get to an agreement also means that the automatic uh, cuts which are going to be implemented from 2013 onwards. So that was the agreement struck uh, during the, the big budget discussions in uh, early August. So effectively, they, they will continue. I mean, the implementation of the cuts will be more mechanical than negotiated. I think that's the, that's the big difference between getting to an agreement or not getting to one. Now the, the, the cuts will be mechanical. And uh, we'll be watching closely to see if, uh, if Senate or Congress doesn't actually change any of the rules of those mechanical cuts. Right, and also what that means well, for global least, bonds. Sorry, I was going to say that, and we also, of course, had the ratings agencies in the mix saying, well, okay, yeah, we're going to keep uh, the rating, the U.S. rating, the same uh, for the time being. So that's a bit of assurance. But, you know, global equity uh, bond markets, I should say, can't help but just look at what's been going on in Europe because it's gone nuts. No, absolutely. Europe definitely doesn't help. Uh, you know, every, every week passes and the situation is not resolved. Uh, which, may, which puts additional you know, pressure on, uh, on the global economic situation. I think in Asia, for example, we could have coped with a, with a short crisis in Europe, and that's what hopes were in September and October. But the longer this, there's no resolution to this problem, and any signals from Europe don't indicate that there's going to be any imminent resolution, the more it's going to have an impact on our rail economy. Uh, so that's, that's the, the contagion risk that we're facing right now from Europe. And let's talk a little bit more about what's been happening with the European debt situation. Now, people keep on saying that 7% is the handle at which these countries cannot afford to pay back their creditors, right? Well, I was looking back 91, as recently as 91, 10 year bonds were yielding over 9%. Now, surely what's different now? Well, I'm going to ask you, what is the difference between then and now? Because that 9% that was seen as sustainable then. Yeah, I think that there are two factors which are important. One is that um, inflation rates are extremely low uh, and growth, expected growth rates are very low. So that means the base on which governments can, can tax the economy to finance their debt uh, is also growing at a much lower pace. That's a nominal GDP. So if you have a higher nominal GDP growth, then governments can afford to run up higher debts than if they have a very low or very close to zero nominal GDP growth. And I think the second factor is that populations are, are aging um, and there has been no change or very small changes to the pension system. So as populations age as well, uh, that, is, that will put in the future a greater burden on the government uh, if no reforms are, are done. So I think that's, that's a, some of the differences between then and now. They, we're in a very low growth environment globally right now. Right. Well, how should Asian fixed income investors be looking at these events that we talked about before the break in the U.S. and now looking at these high yields and oh, spreads which continue to widen there in Europe? Um, yes, it is obviously concerning for, for Asia. I mean, there are different transmission mechanisms for Asia. Uh, one of them is through Asian exports. Asia exports a lot to Europe as well as to the U.S., so weaker growth in in Europe because of this, this ongoing crisis and eventually weaker growth in the U.S. because of, uh, of the lack of agreement on the budget, you know, tr triggering no agreement on uh, extending tax cuts. 
uh, do mean uh, lower exports from, from Asia to, uh, to the U.S. and to Europe. So that's one of the triggers, so an impact on GDP. Um, it, will, it, can also, it also is impacting sentiment, obviously with markets performing very poorly. Sentiment in Asia, it's difficult to get uh, people upbeat on, uh, on financial markets. And then there's the whole story of the European banking crisis, where there will be an impact of some deleveraging by European banks in Asia as they repatriate some of their assets back um, to, re to, reduce, uh, to reduce their asset base and shrink their balance sheets, especially for European banks. I think those are the three transmission mechanisms. And what that means for Asian um, bonds um, is also that you know, inflation rates are likely to be lower because uh, growth is going to be lower and we're seeing lower commodity prices. So we'll have lower inflation rates, which is good news for Asia because that was our worry in the first half. It will also mean uh, that uh, with global rates lower, uh, Asian, Asian rates will remain attractive. Rajiv, thank you so much for your time. We've just uh, run out of it. Thanks uh, a lot, Rajiv Demela there from Schroeder.